65 miles on U.S. Route 287 separates the University of Wyoming to the north and Colorado State University to the south. The border bisects the two schools, thus creating the hate-filled border war. Starting in 1899 and played annually since 1946, these teams have met more than 100 times in three different centuries. And it may have the best traveling trophy in the entire sport. Let's take a look back at the border war for the bronze boot on this episode of Stadium Rivals. There's a discrepancy between the schools regarding the number of games played in this rivalry. Ahead of the 2019 game, Wyoming says it's 110. Colorado State says it's 109. Here's the issue. The first game of the rivalry was played on Thanksgiving Day, 1899. In those days, each school would send one person to act as the referee and the umpire for the game. It's a convoluted story, but each school's assigned ref had a disagreement about the rules of the game, with the Wyoming ref eventually calling a forfeit in favor of his school after a disputed call. Thus, the Cowboys give themselves one extra win, and the border war began in controversy. In the first 30 matchups in this rivalry, Wyoming walked away with just four wins. The first one came in 1910, rivalry's eighth game, which the Cowboys won 10 to nothing. Wyoming would start making a name for itself after World War II. From 1949 to 1973, the Cowboys went 21-4 against Colorado State. The 1965 game was the last of 10 straight wins for Wyoming, the longest streak in the rivalry. The Cowboys cruised at Hughes Field 33-14. It started with a size 8 jump boot that was worn by Colorado State alum Jeff Romero Sr., a Vietnam War veteran. The bronze boot trophy was conceived by Major Vic Fernandez, who thought an appropriate prize for a border war should be a battle-tested combat boot. After Fernandez's own deployment to Vietnam, he had Romero Sr.'s boot bronzed and mounted, presenting the bronze boot as the trophy to the winner of the border war beginning in 1968. In addition to that worthwhile prize, each year the game ball is carried to the host school by the two schools' ROTC detachments. They meet at the Wyoming-Colorado border, exchange the ball, and run it to the stadium hosting the game. The bronze boot was awarded for the first time in 68 to Wyoming after a 46-14 triumph. Colorado State arrived to the stadium just minutes before the 1978 game began. Instead of entering through the tunnel, the Rams came through the student section and an all-out brawl broke loose. It took at least 40 police officers and 20 minutes to break up the fight that eventually included both teams. The actual game ended in a Wyoming 13-3 win. Colorado State was ranked 14th in the nation heading into a nationally televised contest in 1994. Wyoming took a 24-7 lead with 519 left in the third quarter, quieting the crowd and sending some fans to the exits. But a fake punt got Colorado State rolling. CSU punter Matt McDougall connected with Andre Strode and Wyoming's wheels fell off. The Rams would score three straight touchdowns and fans were ready to storm the field with about five minutes left. CSU won 35-24, the fans swarmed and the Rams eventually earned a 10-win season and the school's first WAC title. Wyoming fans call this one the drive. Ranked 23rd in the nation, the Cowboys punctuated this one with a 14-play, 6-minute and 17-second game-winning TD drive to escape with a one-point victory, 25-24. The drive was led by senior QB Josh Walberg, who went 6-for-8 for 67 yards on the drive, capped by a 6-yard TD run from Marcus Brigham. Both schools became founding members of the Mountain West Conference in 1999. In the first battle as intra-conference foes, Colorado State won 24-13 in Fort Collins. CSU won the first of back-to-back -back conference championships under coach Sonny Lubbock that season. The 2010 game has the mark as the most lopsided game in the history of the border war. Alvester Alexander rushed for a school record five TDs in Wyoming's 44-0 shutout of the Rams. It took just 147 yards rushing for Alexander to accomplish that feat. A snowstorm in Laramie set the stage for the closely contested 2017 battle. Led by QB Josh Allen, Wyoming took possession in the fourth quarter, down 13-9 and looking to take the lead. Allen eventually pushed the Cowboys down to the three-yard line before Kellen Overstreet plowed through the line to give Wyoming a 16-13 lead with four minutes and 21 seconds left. This one would hold in the sloppy conditions with Wyoming pulling out the victory. 
If you didn't know already, Wyoming Colorado State has the distinction of being the longest running rivalry west of the Mississippi. In Wyoming, the cattle outnumber the people two to one, but Laramie lives for the border war. Colorado State has the bragging rights with a 58 47 and 5 edge heading into the showdown in 2019, but Wyoming has held the bronze boot for each of the past three years. That trophy now has space for game scores up until 2043 making the border war one to watch in college football for years to come, a rivalry tailor-made for stadium rivals.